Right, with the Calanders, we're on the beach. They're three from three. I'm going to tell before we start talking cricket, Irishman, married to an Irish lady, and Boston Celtic. So we've actually got three Irish cricketers here, so I know I'll need a keeper. So Dunkey, you're in. Samit, we could do a left arm tweaker and somebody could smoke at the back end, so I'll speak to Graham Ford. Anyway, let's talk about Abu Dhabi T10, three from three, flying. Yeah, boys are playing really good cricket. Um, Tom Banton's been in great form. Our captain, Sir Hale's going really well. And then the bowlers are all just doing their job. Um, I think someone who's probably flown under the radar a bit is Chris Jordan. We all know he's world class and in, you know he's got the job done three out of three games. So boys are playing well, play again this afternoon and we'll see how we go. How much uh, is it about momentum? A lot of captains said they lost the game, the best thing to back, get back on the horse. Summit, is it a case of just keep winning, keep playing well, keep enjoying yourself? If you have a slip up, don't worry about it, just keep going. Absolutely, I don't think you can assess too much in this sort of format. Um, momentum is a key word and we're, we're playing really good cricket at the minute and it helps that guys are in pretty good form and the likes of Dunkey's not batted yet, um, CJ's not got in, um, Asif Ali, so there's plenty in the tank, so yeah. You boys are the, the Calanders family. Everywhere the Calanders go, it's Sam Patel and Ben Dunk, whether he's blown bubblegum, massive big bubblegum, or Sam smacking them out of the ground. You must love the franchise. Yeah, we looked after really well. Um, from last year, you know, the moment that we stepped foot into to Pakistan, Samin looked after us really, really well, and um, it's nice to have that continuity, I guess, from from tournament to tournament, to know the owners, to to know the management, um, to know how the team is run. Um, it just makes it feel like a, a one big family when you're away from home. Samit, you're a T20 Blast winner. You won a load of comps. This, want to add this one to the uh, cabinet? This would be nice to win, actually. Um, being part of the Calanders last year, um, we didn't go so well, but. As I said before, formats like this are, are hit and miss. And yeah, this would be great to get in the cabinet. Nice to be away from Nottinghamshire this time of year, isn't it? Absolutely. It's pretty cold back home. As, and, uh... as, as lovely as Nottinghamshire is, and all our, all our viewers back in Nottingham, it's a beautiful county. It's a beautiful place, Nottingham. Nottinghamshire is a beautiful county. But Abu Dhabi, sunshine, 25 degrees, sand between the toes, lovely. Yeah, you're not going to get this anywhere, really. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a, obviously a great place to be and play cricket. What about the T10, Donkey? It's the format you like? Yeah, it's great. Um, you know, it's my second time over. Um, <laughs> it's been interesting, you know, batting at five. I, I haven't had to face a ball, so I've, I've had a bit of a focus on my keeping. Um, the boys are having a good time. We're playing good cricket, um, having good banter around the group. So, yeah, just keep it rolling. You are keeping well. A couple of stompers. You know, I've, been, I've been very impressed. We did a little piece before game one, and you're actually showing off. The footwork was like Michael Jackson on the dance floor. You were so, you were so smooth, <laughs> side to side. Head position was beautiful. Gloving, bringing the ball in. Oh, I grew you up. Never let me down, mate. I grew up watching you, mate. So I learned oh, from the best. <laughs> he's a good lad, this lad. What about the hat? Decent hat, Samet. What do you think? Yeah, him and Bantz are pulling off the, the hat brigade, to be honest. Um, mm. Bantz has got a black one. Yeah, but they both pull it off pretty well. I wonder why they're him and Tom Banton are wearing hats because he's got no he's got no hair and yeah. Banton's got a terrible, terrible hair. Shaq, if you're watching, Shaq Banton, terrible lid. All right, rest of the tournament. Who are you? Not fearing, but who are playing good cricket that you're slightly worried about? Oh, I think any team with Nicholas Puran is certainly something to be fear. Um, but I, I guess we're just focusing on ourselves, really. The boys are playing good cricket. Um, you know, the, the games come thick and fast. Play this afternoon. Um, they're a team full of good players. Um, so, yeah, keep focusing on what we do and, and hopefully keep that momentum going. But, yeah, I mean, it's been pretty special to watch Nicholas Puran, I think. I think everyone could agree that... Um, not only this format, T20 format, um, probably every format really, really agrees with him. He's going to be a class player to watch over the next sort of 10, 12 years. Skipper's going well. So, Alakta, he's playing some serious cricket. Yeah, he's actually finding some feet. Um, he, he's actually played well in, to the back end of the PSL and obviously found his form in this format. So, we've something that we've not seen before. He's, his ball striking ability, hopefully he can carry that on in the PSL going, uh, going forward. You're going all right, mate? How are those twirlers? Yeah, I've not really had much of a go, but yeah, they're going all right in a minute. Um, hopefully I'll get a bit of a crack later on if I, get, if I get a chance, but yeah, looking forward to PSL. Right, gentlemen, tell me a little bit about the uh, talent in the squad. Give me one player each to watch for the fans back home. Yeah, for me, the, the super impressive um, bowler has been Sultan Ahmed. I mean, open the bowling, he's bowling the hard overs. Um, and he's just a pleasure to keep to. He's got wickets in every game. Um, in the field, his intensity is really high. Um, he's taking big wickets, bowling big overs. Um, you know, he, he's got a huge future ahead of him. For me, we have a we have a guy that's come through the PDP uh, in Pakistan. We've got Daniel, who bowls some real pace. It's phenomenal stats that he's never played a, a hardball game until that first game he played for us. Table? Yeah, he come from Incredible. table and 
to, to, to slot straight in about wide Yorkers without any sort of experience, um, that's got to be a bright future for Pakistan cricket and obviously a lot of credit to, to Haw the Hawklanders. Before you, just let me just touch on that because coming from my part of the world, you know, tape ball cricket doesn't exist. You know, you play with you play with a hard ball. What exactly, you know, explain to people what about what is tape ball cricket? I presume they just take one side of the ball so it does swing, and then it's it's a softer ball. It's not it's not as competitive, and you don't get obviously the, the limelight that you would in hard ball cricket. But to do that, that's a phenomenal skill to come in and just perform on a high stage. He's bowling at some high class players. Um, and obviously he's won some high pressure overs as well and to come and deliver that he has, he's, he's been outstanding. Beautiful, well the Clanders, they're flying, top class team, they're three from three, they're going to make a four from four I reckon today. Two great lads, two great characters, two great cricketers, absolute heroes. So listen, we're having a good time here, it's Bubble Diaries, we're loving life, we're getting a suntan, can't be bad. <laughs>